Okay, so again, we're going to use some water-soluble markers. I've pulled out quite a few colors um, that I found. Again, there are a variety of brands. It doesn't necessarily matter, okay? But they do need to be water-soluble. And then I got a piece of um, aluminum foil or tin foil, okay? And I just kind of I folded it over so it was more than one thickness, okay? Now this you will need a pink brush for. We're going to kind of do a watercolor um, painting with using the um, water-based markers. So what I'm going to do with this tin foil and my markers is that essentially I'm going to make myself my painting palette. I'm going to color the um, marker onto uh, my piece of tin foil. Alright, so I'm just going to color in some squares making my color palette. All right, I'm going to color in my squares. I don't know if you can see that pink or not, it's kind of light, but there is pink there. And then I have this a lighter blue, which does appear to show up a little bit better. And then I've got a lighter green, and then a darker blue, okay? Now I just chose a couple colors, um, I chose quite a few colors actually. But again, you can have more or less, all right? So I've got my paint palette. Again, I just grabbed the same diaper paper that I had before, just some um, multi-purpose drawing paper. I bought this um, pad, it's actually right here underneath. I'm using it as my surface. I bought it at Walmart several years ago for, I don't know, probably four or five dollars. And it's a bigger um, piece, it's 18 by 24. So those big pieces of paper that we've used before, I'm just getting my cup of water here and my brush okay um and so I just I kind of use it for lots of things it's multi-purpose paper this is what it says on there so I mean obviously not right now that we're in the middle of this fun um, virus going around but um you know later so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to get my paintbrush wet and I'm going to swirl it around and you can kind of even see sorry there see it becomes a watercolor and then I can paint the watercolor, and I wrote my name using the Sharpie, and I didn't really think that you needed to watch me use the Sharpie, okay, and then I can paint, sorry, that purple is really light there, okay, but I can paint, and the colors, hmm, I don't know, let's see, let's see if the colors will mix. That was that pink color that didn't really show up very well, and it almost looked like the red. That's a very light pink now. Let me see if maybe I can get the um, blue and maybe the green. Maybe I can get them to mix. Oh, they do bleed together. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if that was close enough for you to see. I'm going to bring the camera down. I'm going to try again, okay? I'm going to take some more of the green that I used before. I'm going to go right in there. Oh, it didn't do quite what it did before, but you can kind of see. Let me try the blue. Did you see, can you see that like spidering all over the place? It's kind of cool. All right. So, um, they, they work just like watercolors. Um, you can do a crayon resist with them. Sorry, you didn't see all that I just did, which I really didn't do a whole lot. Um, you can do a crayon resist with them to um, have that. So if you've got like a white crayon at home, you can color, you can use any color crayon actually. The white just doesn't show up as you're on the white paper, but it works as a resist no matter what color you use. Okay, so I'm gonna just paint, 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 paint. Okay, so you could paint whatever you wanted, all right? Again, I could make myself a little card here to send to uh, grandma and grandpa. I make myself a little sign here. Maybe you'll see it in the classroom, maybe you won't. Okay, but this is just something fun that um, one of my fellow art teacher friends um, told me that she was doing to show her kids during this time away from school and I was like wow that would be fun 
and I have those things and um, so again this one you, you kind of have to have the paintbrush the other one if you watched it with the plastic bag you don't necessarily need to have a paintbrush to be able to do this but um, this one you definitely need um, a paintbrush to be able to um, do this. Um, I don't know if anything else would really work very well, but you could certainly try and see. Okay, so you can make yourself a little tin foil um, palette using some water based markers, and you could paint yourself a picture, sorry, had it all set up nice. I'm trying to figure it out at my home versus in my classroom, and it's taken a little bit of time. Um, but you could do a lot of things with that, and just, you know, very inexpensively, you know, eat markers to, you know, who knew you could paint with markers, all right? So, there's something else that you guys can try, kind of a boredom buster, okay? You wouldn't necessarily even need to write on it first. You could let it dry and write on it or, I don't know, make a landscape or a, draw a picture of a city or, um, you know, just any sort of picture you would normally paint. Um, or you could just do something completely abstract and just kind of go for it and see what comes out. And then um, you could always turn it into a card or um, a letter or whatever you would like to do with it um it's just kind of fun to play around with it it's something different like i said i found this with from a friend of mine who's also an art teacher and um, she teaches in a different state and it's like oh that would be so much fun the only thing i didn't think you guys might have is a paintbrush so, I mean, by all, means, by all means, don't, you know, make mom or dad go out and get you a paintbrush. But, you know, I mean, it's pretty fun. All right, so it's something that you can use to pass the time away. I challenge you to paint a picture using a homemade palette and water-based mar um, water markers and um, see what type of painting you can come up with. Um, in our time away from each other. All right, so All right, where's that one? All right, so there's two Oh, it is still recording. My son just told me it's still recording. That's right. It is still recording.